You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week, we're introducing The Heritage of the Sikhs by Harvand Singh. The author, Professor Harvan Singh, now deceased, was the chief editor of the Encyclopedia of Sikhism and was based at the Punjabi University in Patiala. This particular book, The Heritage of the Sikhs, is one of many number of publications that he authored. And this was first published in 1983, but the edition we're looking at is a hardbound copy and comes from 1999 when it was put into reprint under a second edition. This book takes the reader on a journey through the Sikh way of life, right from the founding moment under Guru Nanak all the way up until some of the events of the latter part of the 20th century. However, the author is not presenting this purely in a historical sense. No, instead, Professor Harban Singh almost makes a nod to philosophically looking at the Sikh way of life and how we have got to our present day period. This is history, but it's being presented with a nod to the ideology that inspired it and inspired the events and the personalities that came about throughout the last five centuries. Over the course of 350 pages and some 25 chapters, the author covers everything from the rise and fall of Maharaja Ranjit Singh's Sikh kingdom right up to the events of 1984 and he does so with aplomb. It is a joy to read. Even if you find some of the claims being made contestable, there are enough references for you to go out and see why the author came to the conclusion that he did. As the content of the book reaches more recent times, the author makes good usage of primary sources being represented and packaged in the book for the reader. Starting with a preface by the author himself, the book contains a comprehensive index that is very useful for anybody dropping in and out of the book or trying to pick different time periods and chapters to read at random, as well as an extensive bibliography which gives umpteen amounts of further reading for any reader to look at. The 25 chapters might sound large, but actually looking down the contents page, you can see it doesn't seem to be that great a list. It contains chapter titles that reflect what I said earlier about this having almost a philosophical edge to reciting Sikh history. The fourth chapter is titled Heroism Out of Holy Tradition. Twentieth chapter is the renewal of the heritage of suffering. The twenty-fourth chapter is remobilization. As the subject matter flows through this work chronologically, you can make your own guesses as to what those titles cover. But what you will definitely find is captivating reading material that you just won't be able to put down. What Harban Singh does in The Heritage of the Sikhs is to a certain extent reinterpret how certain primary sources from the Sikh way of life and our history had been presented to us in the English medium. And he does so wonderfully well. This is the kind of book that, again, any person who is a Sikh academic or wannabe Sikh academic needs to read through thoroughly and have on their desk. But speaking more wider than that, anybody who's interested in Sikh history, particularly looking at Sikh history from an idealistic point of view and how it related to the principles espoused by Guru Nanak, needs to pick up and look at this book. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think of The Heritage of the Sikhs by Harvan Singh. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.